If I Were a Bee by Beth and Jay If I were a bee, I would wake and buzz with glee. Wiggling in my hive, I'd some hello to you two, three. I pop out of the fly hole, then go zooming through the air. Two wings beating each side of me, a doubly shimmering pair. I am super cool at flying, but I do not want to brag. My gangly legs are bendy and my knees have shopping bags. I go whooshing between houses, over cars. But can you see, with 200 beats a second, that my wings are lifting me? Dandelions, bluebells, mmm, what's blossoming today? Kilometres, several miles to buzz ain't far away. With teeny eyes atop my head, great big ones on both sides, I spy precious petal patterns that present my dining guide. Reds are quite invisible, but other colours glow. I use my ultraviolet specks to scan and dart below. I hear the busy humming of the other bees nearby as they flit between bright flower heads and bob in breeze up high. Vibrations get me going, buzzes, hums, in hive, outside. My antennae smell and feel things, bend or pop up as I ride. I plunge my head into a flower and suck up with my straw the sweet, delicious nectar. But I do not leave before I rub the powdery pollen on my legs and round my knees and let the plants all pollinate while trying not to sneeze. I whiz back to my beehive fast to meet with all my mates, bringing nectar goo and pollen for the grand communal plate. We love to work together and we normally hate to sting. We'd rather dance and jiggle round and share our perfumed zing. I watch the larvae scoff bee bread of enzymes, pollen, honey, while nurse bees squeeze white jelly out for younger babes and mummy. Or Queenie, as the boss is called. With her there is no messing. She's very good at laying eggs. Thousand a day, I'm guessing. I try my hand at chomping to build more honeycomb. Chewing wax scales from my tum to build a high-rise home. When some little cracks need fixing or the beehive should get chiller, I make some thick propolis glue, a wax sap spit bee filler. Next I dob some wax to seal six-sided tubs of honey. That's nectar spat and chewed by chums, wing fanned till it's not runny. I know that sicking up sweet stuff is not very polite, but our nectar honey tums produce antibiotic light. I make so many handy things to help you through your lives. Candle wax and honey, be pollinated food supplies. Now, for when we're feeling peckish, we've stacked quite a pile of treats. Pollen snacks and honey pie that's fine and soft and sweet. So maybe you would also like to be a bee one day. But if you can't, go spread your toast with liquid gold. Okay. This book is about honeybees, but there are thousands of bee types, 
bumble, carpenter, wall carder, leaf cutter. People have used honey for food and as medicine for thousands of years. Wonderful places like heaven are often described as the land of milk and honey. We need bees. Without bees it would be hard or impossible to pollinate much of our food. And many creatures rely on bee pollinated food in the food chain. You can plant bee friendly plants in window boxes or in a garden or at school to give them more nectar and pollen. If you get a bee in your bonnet about bees, you could be a busy bee and make a bee hotel, a bumblebee box, or just put an upside down flower pot in the ground to encourage bees. <laughs>